Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about conditional type 1. Before we start the lesson, let's watch a short animation. Alright Bob. Do you have any plans for the evening? I'm really busy. I have a lot of computer work to complete. But, if I finish early, Adam and I will go out for dinner. If we have some extra time, we will watch a comedy movie on TV. What about you grandma? Well, if your grandpa doesn't have anything to do, we will eat out too. Good for you grandma. I hope you have developed a primary idea about conditional type 1. Now, let's watch the lesson for further details. Based on the animation, we deduce that the main use of conditional type 1 is to talk about real or possible future situations and their probable results. More precisely, it is about an action in the future that will happen if a certain condition is fulfilled. Let's consider the following example, if it rains, I will not play football. The idea in this example is that I'm planning to play football, but there is one future and possible condition or situation, which will stop me from playing football, it's the rain or if it rains. Now, let's analyze the form based on some examples from the animation. If your grandpa doesn't have anything to do, we will eat out too. If I finish early, Adam and I will go out for dinner. If we have some extra time, we will watch a comedy movie on TV. Basically, we use if plus simple present plus simple future, we can also use the following order simple future plus if plus simple present. Dear students, the lesson stops here. See you soon in another lesson.